Hi everyone, in this video, we will create the score condition for our game. As you know in basketball, we need to put the ball get into the ring and we can say it score. The first step is, we will add the trigger for our ring and when the ball touches the trigger, it will say score. We will start from that. And after that, we'll do some checking to prevent the ball getting from below. Okay. Let's do this. First, we can add the trigger to the ring. Go to the collider ring. You can add it right here, but I will add new empty game object named score trigger. And I will add the trigger right here using box collider 2D. And to make the collider as trigger, we just need to tick is trigger. With this, the ball won't bounce. Now we need to check if the ball goes into the trigger. Let's open our ball script and just add void on trigger enter 2D again because we are on 2D. And the parameter is collider 2D. For now, let's just debug log score as simple as that get back to our game if you remember we haven't set our score trigger position and size let's do this now set the offset i think this is okay and edit the collider resize it this is enough so when the ball enter the trigger it will say score Let's try this. Play. See the console and let's shoot. See, it's detect the score condition, but right now when it's enter the trigger and bounce up and enter again and enter again, it will say score. But this is okay because the next step is we're checking the condition if the ball comes from the top of the ring. Basically, what we need to check is, when the ball enter the trigger, we need to store the ball position, and when the ball exit the trigger, we will compare the position from when the ball is entering the trigger. So we can know that the ball score condition is valid. Okay, let's get back to the ball script. And here, on trigger enter 2D, we need to store the ball position, so... I will give the variable name as ball score position equals to transform dot position dot y. We will store the ball position when it's entering the trigger. Let's create the variable first. Private load ball score position, just like that, and. When the trigger exit, we can use on trigger exit two D collider two D. Then now we can compare the current transform position dot y must be lower than ball score position. This way we will know that our ball comes from the top. Yes. If, if the condition is true, then debug.log score. Okay, let's try this. Play, open your console, and let's see. Nice. It's quite smooth, right? Oh, great. Now let's do some checking if we put the ball from below. Set our ball position right here. Uh, let's check the position of the trigger again. Okay. Okay. It it still says score and yeah it's 
natural because our position. But if we do this, it can detect correctly. So I think what we need to do is change the trigger position, maybe more higher than this. Let's see. If we check it right here, we will not make it perfect, but it's better to make it as good as possible. It's still checking. Okay. Raise it up again. Maybe right here. Still checking. Okay, I think this is the best what we can do right now because if we set it even higher than this, we can get false value. For example, like this. If we set it here, it's true that the ball won't detect it as score like that. Let's see. Great, right? But if we set the position right here, I can do this. Uh, sorry. I can do this. Mm, how to do this? Oh, quite hard. But in some condition, we can set. See, the simulation is if it's do this, it will detect it as court. Um, so I think I will compromise with this position. Let's copy, pause, and paste it. And then we can set the ball to the right position. At least we got the score condition good enough. Not score. Score. Okay, nice. Okay, that's it for this video. In the next video, we will set the score system. So when the ball goes in, we will increase the score. If you like this kind of video series, please do like and subscribe. You'll find more and more complete project tutorials later. I also have Patreon if you'd like to support me in doing more of this. I'll leave the link in the video description. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.